number 31, find x in 3 raised to 2 thirds equals 9 raised to x. Para makuha natin yung x, kailangan nating uh, pagparehohin yung base. So, simplify muna natin siya. 3 raised to 2 thirds is the same as the cube root of 3 squared. So, kailangan nating pagparehohin yung base. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, simplify natin yung 3 squared which is, which is 9. So, magiging cube root of 9 na siya. Tapos, pagkatapos nun, babalik natin siya ulit dun sa fraction form ng exponent. Kaya, magiging 9 over 1, uh, 9 raised to 1 third. So, pareho na yung base natin dun sa kabila. So, meaning to say, pwede na natin i-disregard yung base at isolve natin yung x. Magiging x is equal to 1 third. So, the answer to this question is letter B. Sa so question number 32, what can be said of the graphs of f of x? is equal to a raised to x assuming that a is not or is, is not equal to 1 dito sa question na to kailangan nating tandaan yung mga properties of the function if a is increasing um, that's exponential growth pag b is decreasing or b is less than 1 that's um, exponential decay so para sa question na to 1, 2, and 3 are all properties of exponential function. In number 33, what is the function to obtain? Is a, uh, what function is obtained if the graph of f of, of x is equal to 2 raised to x shifted um, 2 units upwards? So, madali lang naman to. Positive to kasi upwards eh. So, pag downwards on shift, negative. Pag left ang shift, negative. Pag right ang shift, positive. According to quadrant lang. Sa so number 34, ang absolute uh, value na, ng y should be letter B. One half. Greater than one half. So, sa mga half-life, madali lang din to. Basically, ang gagawin mo lang is, kakalahatiin mo yung substance pag na-reach niya na yung half-life time niya. So, for question number 34, sabi, every 3 minutes, ay, ang, ang half-life ng substance na yon ay 3 minutes. So, after 3 minutes, dapat maging kalahati na yung 800 grams na substance. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay 400. So, sa si, si question 36, half-life pa rin, basically, ang gagawin mo lang dito, since ang given sa sa'yo ay yung what's left after yung half-life, i-multiply mo lang, i-reverse mo lang yung process. Sa 35 kasi, ang ginawa natin, dinivide natin since given yung original amount ng substance before nag-half-life. Sa so question 36, ang binigay na lang is what's left. So, babalik na rin lang natin yung process. Imumultiply lang natin. So, 750 times 2 is 1,500. Question 37 is an example of an exponential growth uh, problem. Exponential growth in population problem. So, dito, ang pinaka the best mo na lang na pwedeng gawin is erase sa 1 day or sa 3 days yung given na equation. Ang magiging true lang dito ay letter B. Kasi pag ni-raise mo siya sa 1 day at ni-multiply mo yung 23 times 1.06, ang magiging sagot ay 24.38. Question 38 needs to be rearranged. So, kailangan siya nasa format na B raised to Y is equal to X. Ayan, as shown in what I've written down. Tapos, simplify na natin siya. Ang makukuha nating sagot ay 42. Sa 39, ganun ulit gawin natin. I-arrange natin ulit yung logarithmic function into the format of b raised to y equals x. Tapos, simplify natin. Kagaya ng nakasulat sa aking working. And we will get the answer as x is equal to 7. Question 40. Before natin ma-solve yung x, kailangan yung base natin kasi exponents yung mga x. Kailangan yung base natin pareho. So, to simplify this, magiging 3 uh, raised to x is less than 3 squared times x minus 2. Since pareho na yung base niya, pwede na natin ma-simplify yung ating mga x. 
logarithm of a number is also called as the exponent. So number 42 will follow the general for formula logarithmic b bracket x plus h plus k. So given equation natin na logarithmic 6 bracket x minus 1 h ang gagamitin natin. So, ang mean, meaning to say, ang shift natin is from right to left. If h is less than 1, uh, is, is less than 0, we will shift to the right. If h is greater than 0, our shift is to the left. So, sa problem na yun, we will shift 1 unit to the left. So, dito sa 43, i-expand muna natin siya, tapos saka natin siya isi-simplify. So, magiging log 3 p raised to 5 over 4 times log 3 q raised to 1 fourth. Tapos, gagamitin natin yung product saka exponential rule para masimplify ulit yung ating logarithmic function. Number 44, applying the product rule for logarithms, the answer to this is log 15. Kasi pag inad siya, that means i-multiply yung dalawang logarithm. Answer to question 45 is the logarithm of power. So number 46, convert muna natin siya into a power logarithm. So 2 log 6 is the same as log 36. Tapos, gawin natin yung power. 2 log is equal to 3 times 2. Sa product rule, ay ano Product rule, it's gonna be 2 log 2 times log 2 plus log 3. So ang answer doon ay letter B. Let's expand log 120. Log 120 is the same as log 2 plus log 3 plus log 5. Kasi 2 times 3 plus 5 is, an, ah, times 5 is 120. Tapos, given naman na yung mga values dyan, log 2 is 0 0.3010, log 3 is 0 0 0.4771, and log 5 is 0 0.6690. I-add lang natin yung lahat, and ang makukuha nating sagot is letter B. 1.7781 Question 48 Change muna natin siya ulit sa format na b raised to y equals x Tapos makukuha natin yung 5 raised to n plus 5 equals 65 Tapos kagaya ng ginawa natin sa pagsusolve sa mga exponents Kailangan uh, bago natin maibaba yung exponent Kailangan pareho yung base natin So we will reduce 6 to 5 sa 5 din dapat So 5 n plus 5 is equal to 5 raised to 4. Now, we can solve for n. n plus 5 is equal to 4. So, n is equal to negative 1. Number 49, follow lang natin tong formula na to. P is equal to yung final amount over 1 plus the rate over yung number of times when it was compounded raised to the number of times it was compounded or yung raised, number, raised to the number of periods. So, Using that formula, ang makukuha natin is P is equal to 64,800 over 1 plus, since 1 year, 1 year lang naman yon, So, magiging, isimplify na natin kaagad. 1 plus 0 0.08. Kasi i-change natin to percentage and to yung, yung 8%. change natin sa decimal. Tapos after natin yung makuha, if you compute using a calculator, 64 over, uh, 64,800 divided by 1.08, your answer is going to be 60,000. Last number, number 50. So this number 50 is about half-life. Ang half-life natin is the amount of time it takes for a substance to completely dissolve or maubos. So, base dun sa table na binigay, our substance, our radioactive substance, nagha-half-life siya every 3.8 seconds. So, that's the half-life. And that's it. Thank you very much sa lahat ng mga nanood sa aking midterm review test series. Pinag-isa ko na lang yung part 4 and part 5 kasi maiiksi na lang naman siya and madadali na lang sagutan. Sana makatulong to sa mga mga susunod nyo pa na aralin kasi ito yung I think foundation ng mga ibang lessons and again, kung meron kayong gustong ipachutor just leave the comment down tapos yung mga ibang links sa 
part 1 hanggang part 3 ay iiwan ko rin sa description box kung gusto nyo balikan yung mga topic na yon. Maraming salamat hanggang sa susunod. Again, this is Anna Comeros. Maraming salamat and see you on our next tutorial video.